Welcome everybody to 22.10. I know it's been a while since the last map change. Well, last map change was the beginning of the season. So I bring you 22.10, which is the first map change I'm covering this season. Obviously not the, it's obviously excluding the uh, season introduce, but Let's just get straight to it. So to start off, since we're over here, uh, the gnomes that were the survivor gnomes that survived the whole ambush, they are now talking or speaking with the head gnome with a group that has the uh, fallen facility. As you can see, they met up. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, not much else happened here. Just a bunch of small stuff. If you come on in here, oop, in here, you can see the no. these two gnomes are ready to start, uh, well, spying on the bears with this drone. That's the sole purpose of this drone that they found, to spy on the bears. Because beginning of the season, they were over here still working on it, and now they're finally ready to have it flying. And that's, honestly, not much else happened over here. So, moving on. Over here, as you can see, the uh, whole FBI outpost has moved from over here to over there. As you can see, the bulldozer is, well, pushing all the ice back into its spot, because, well, couldn't find what they were looking for here, so they just put all the stuff that they picked up back. And now they're going to search over here, and why is there a big hole here? Well, the boat that was frozen in the ice over here was picked up by the tornado and thrown so hard into the ice it created a massive hole. It's... it's, it's kind of obvious. And yeah when it like exploded most of the ice and created this hole it like exposed some of the crates hidden underneath the water so they're continuing to find what they're looking for over here now but as we all know it's not over there it's right here it's not even in a crate but they don't know that anyway over here, as you can see, the, uh, well, the storm device, or not the storm device, the weather device, has now, uh, booted up a beacon to show where it's located. But that's not the intention. The intention is for it to rise up out of the ground and cause even more chaos. Also, as you can see, the tornadoes are, in fact, moving. As you can see, they left a trail of snow behind, as well as this one. This one still has all the junk it picked up down here. As you can see, it destroyed this person's deck, which is kind of a dick move by the tornado, not gonna lie. But, you know, they don't care. They are reckless. And as you can see, it picked up even more cars and whatnot. Over by the bears, as you can see, they are, have greeted each other and they're going to, dis to discuss terms about what they're doing with the device that the gnome stole for the bear, the head bear of the corrupt gnome group. And yeah, that's that's about it for the bear storyline. It's uh, moving very slowly. And adding to that, over here, they fixed up their hideout. Or, well, these bears did, not those. As you can see. Not much really moved around here. See, they're working on patching up this massive hole in the roof. And yeah, that's about it over here. And down here, 
may not notice there's not much happening here, but a root has popped out of the ground. Or, well, not root, a little sapling has popped out of the ground over here, as well as a bunch of uh, foliage has appeared. But the root is more important. You'll see, it's just a minor change that's going to have no impact, but you'll see what it becomes later on. Over by Frosty Forgery, you can see that there's a lot of stuff happening here. Mainly the, uh, well, whatever the hell this crap is coming out of the ground. Basically, the massive rift sphere that has appeared here is pulling something out of the ground that is underneath the main fortress. And it's, like, trying to rip it out of the ground. You'll see what happens moving forward. Because it's gonna... What it's after, you'll see later. Coming over to the party area, as you can see, there is actually a change to it. A, uh... Part of Rifto Remnants has appeared. If you don't know the whole thing, if you don't know what happened to Rifto Hills, basically it exploded. Destroying like 90% of the island but some like a decent portion of the island survived like a couple portions like this one and if it doesn't look familiar it's part of twin apartments it's kind of hard to tell because of the different colors of the bricks and stuff because I use chapter 3 builds as you could tell, it is, in fact, part of Twin Apartments. Just a looking a little different. Yeah, it's just, it's a little Easter egg to Rift of Hills. And the whole lore behind that is, after the explosion, the, like, the, the Rift was, or the, um, the Zero Point was so powerful that it created a whole anti-gravity zone. And now, the remnants of Rift of Hills is now floating around in space. Very peaceful, somewhat peaceful ending for Rift of Hills. And his legacy will live on. Over at Pleasant Port, you can see not much has happened here either, but they are building continuing to build a platform to get up to the crane. As you can see, they begin, they continued working on that. Uh, not much else really happened here. Not, nothing else that's really interesting. That's about it over there. Tornado also, also is moving over here. Destroyed a tree. Bastard tornado. Destroying everything it touches. Some up, some extra plane parts have also been taken by the gnomes. It's very hard to notice which ones, because you know it's, it's small map change. It's not really noticeable. Over here at Shattered City, there's actually been a couple things happening here. Uh, and a big pile of ice has completely crushed part of the coffee shop. As you can see, it's uh, in a bit of destruction right now. Also, police cars are missing, you may notice. And if we come on all the way over here, they are actually raiding the house that the bears were at. Like the corrupt... The bears of the... Uh, that are also part of the corrupt gnome group that were betrayed. Basically, they're investigating it after the whole thing that happened, because the one gnome reported it. One of the gnomes, anyway. So they're gonna raid the whole house and try to find evidence of the bears and try and track them down. Anyway, coming back over to Shattered City, the funding 
area. We now have 17 out of the 100 likes. Thank you guys for liking the video. I appreciate it. And remember, you guys, you are the ones affecting the story. So, if you get the funding completed, then the story will be will finish like how it should have. But if you don't, well, it's gonna end up it's gonna end up doing it anyway. <laughs> But you guys can affect the story and make it happen sooner by liking the map change videos. And I will keep updating it with the like count. Anyway, you may notice a police car blocking off this section. Well, the government is actually trying to fight against one of the tornadoes that are getting very dangerously close to the city. So they are using a reboot van from BR, because it has a lot of power, like, in it. And it's trying to dissolve the tornado. And it's pretty convenient that they have a whole elect electric unit to actually hook it up to. Because without it, it would explode by itself. As you can see, they brought their wire to wire this thing up, and yeah. They are trying to fight back against this tornado, so it doesn't wipe out Shattered City like it would if they didn't do anything about it. We'll see what happens there later on. And the final and probably most interesting map change of today is this. You may notice there is a rift right above water. Now, if we come down here... There are two truck robot corpses. This is the Ranger, if you guys remember from the uh, Truck Warfare season of Rift of Hills. And this is the OG Veteran. Now, you're probably wondering why exactly they're even here. Because it doesn't really make sense. From, like... From, for like an average person thinking. Well, so basically, if you go back to uh, one of the map changes of Truck Warfare, some of you may know that the Ranger was completely destroyed in battle fighting against the Betrayer Mark II. And basically that body was completely trashed. And for the Veteran... The veteran was long overdue for a remaster, like, rework, because, well, it used the same body since its inception, and it was missing an arm for quite a while, and they finally got the funding means necessary to, well, fix it up and make it better, and give him its arm back, the arm that he lost in one of the wars he fought. So yeah, they dumped their bodies off here, which also gives lore to how this body of the Betrayer ended up here. It was sent here because, well... So it doesn't take up space over there, and they don't need it, so they might as well just drop it off somewhere. And just like that, that is going to be a wrap for Map Change 22.10. Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. I don't usually say that much, but it means a lot to me. It'll keep pushing me to make more videos of the map changes, even though Fortnite is dying. Changed my mind. Anyway, I shall see you guys in the next one. Peace out.